Oh, you do got a cable. Found it. <laughs> nice. Hey guys, Pete over here. Um, I spotted something really cool in the dumpster that I gotta go back for it. But before I do that, I gotta unload everything I got in a, in a truck. I'm at the post office and we had an incredible weekend. When it comes to sales, my truck is full. Yeah, so I'm here at the post office, time to unload this stuff. And then I gotta go quickly to FedEx. So people always ask me, Pete, how come you drive your own packages to the, to the post office or FedEx? Number one, I enjoy it. I like the interaction with my people. I wanna make sure that things are getting scanned right away, which is always good. Second of all, it gives me option to get out. I mean, it's like literally two minutes from my shop, uh, grab a cup of coffee or, uh, or oatmeal. And then always scanning for things, opportunities that might pop up. And this is exactly what happened today morning. See this? See this right there in the dumpster? I'm sitting behind um, Best Buy. Best Buy right there. Um, it's a whiteboard. A whiteboard that I wanted for a long time for my shop. So let's go get it. Hopefully this thing is in one piece. Oh, it's a huge whiteboard. But it's got some kind of stripes, which is okay. This might work. Let me get it out. So I got in there and I'm gonna leave it behind. The bottom corner, you can't see right now behind the back, is damaged, is broken. Plus it's a little bit too big. I was hoping it was a little bit smaller. Way too big. Plus it's got these white stripes. Who knows what they used it for. I need something smaller. I guess I'm gonna keep looking. Nothing there. Did you hear me, Ruby? That is not necessary. That is not necessary. I'm coming. Yes, I'm coming. Yeah, I'm coming. Come on. So it's Monday morning. Ruby, Ruby is loud. She wants to be out. And before, uh, before I open a shop on Monday morning, especially when I've been out of the shop for like three days. Last time I was here was Thursday. I was off Friday, Saturday, Sunday. When I come in on Monday, I like to go through the shop and see what came in new. So I have a better idea if somebody comes up to me and says, Hey, how much is this or that? I know what they're talking about. Of course, I'm not going to see everything. I'm going to miss some things, but not being here for three days, I'm sure there's new stuff. So let's, uh, let's look. Right off the get, I see this black box. Haven't seen that before I left. Ah, uh, Titan sprayer asking $275. Okay, so it's a paint sprayer. Looks like it's brand new. At least uh, everything's tied up and looks like it's new. So that's cool. Uh, oh, this was in here. Chippy made by Ion radio with a turntable player called Mustang LP. One of those things that you can find currently in Best Buy and stuff like that. What about here? Oh yeah, these knives, all these knives right here. I don't even know what kind of knives these are. What's the name? Automat Kawashnikov 74 Boker, Booker, Baker. Uh, pretty cool. Not cheap. 50 bucks, 90 bucks, 60 bucks, 55 bucks. So they're not cheap. Oh, that bayonet is new. That wasn't here. Uh, this is all old stuff here. I don't think that little compressor was here. Yeah, that's new. And I can see we have codes on our pricing. It tells me the date. So yeah, that came in yesterday. Little compressor. Ah, guitars, amps. I don't see anything new here. No. Uh oh, this thing is new. A fender. Yep, that came in on Saturday. 
Little bass amplifier fender, 65 bucks. Let's see if I can spot any new audio. No, I don't see anything new. No. here this is new some kind of set chisel set 15 bucks carving chisel set oh that wasn't here Blackhawks maybe it was yeah I think it was what's the date on it yeah it's been here for a couple weeks we get so many jerseys here Sometimes it's hard to tell. And of course, same thing with the tools, especially small miscellaneous tools, it's hard to tell. You know, I don't know how many senders I got. They come and go all the time. Actually, I just noticed a Vexler over here. This thing was in here. You know, the season asking 200 bucks. Yeah, that just came in. Uh, Ice fishing is coming up shortly, so this is going to be a really good sale. These are very expensive. This is FL8. What is this? That wasn't here. I don't see any price on it. Rich pink. This is soap. Hand cleaner. Right. I don't see any prices. It's out in the store with no pricing. Like Adrian says, S is gonna fly. This is area when we keep lots of appliances, small appliances. Oh, Playboy Bunny. I think that's new. Yeah, that's new. 25 bucks. It's pretty cool. Got a couple chips though. One here, one here. I don't see anything new though. Don't see anything new. No, that's been here. All these ACs have been here. Yeah, nothing new here. Oh, this is new. This is some kind of old fan. No, it's actually a heater, old school heater. Yeah, it's got a spring inside that gets warmed up. That's pretty cool. 40 bucks. What's up? Good morning, sir. Good morning. How are you? Well. Well? How are you? Very well. I had three days off. <laughs> Uh, I doubt it that I'm gonna find anything else new in this room because we kind of put a hold on antique stuff and they've been very very slow movers so we are very selective when it comes to uh, antique stuff yeah I don't see anything new Milo what's up buddy huh come over here hey 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 how are you? What you been up to? Huh, buddy? What have you been up to? What have you been up to? What's wrong with your hand? Nothing. Huh? My wrist hurts. Oh. Morning, sunshine. Hey, good morning. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Did you have a good weekend? Awesome weekend. How about you? Not awesome, but it was fine. <laughs> what are you putting up there? Did you buy that Playboy bunny? I just noticed that yeah, today. I did. Yeah? Why? You don't pretty like cool. It? No, it's pretty cool. Got a couple chips in it, but somebody's gonna buy it. What are you what are you putting up? Firestone. 
Kanaka, what else did we get? The other one was pretty cool. Me too. Where is it? Kanaka. Oh. Kanaka. Yeah. These are all rip up, not real, but still cool. A few dollars. What do you have? I have toys that I think I overpaid. Toys. <laughs> because I wasn't able to find anything. He sold us stuff before. He's a plumber. Mm -hmm. He says that he's got a bunch of extras all the time. Uh, these are tools for like the rotting machines for cleaning drains and toilet, you know. Yeah, like it's sharp. Right. It's like so I wrote down here rigid drain cleaning cutters. This is a three inch, four inch, six inch. Okay. Have no idea what this is called. You gotta hunt it down on okay. Amazon probably. You're gonna find them quicker. I couldn't find anything on eBay like this. I could only find an eBay three inch that was going for like 30 bucks. Okay. This I found on, on Amazon going for 69. But the rest used? of them I don't know. These are all new. They look rusted yeah. because they've been sitting, but they've never been put in on a machine or used None of them. in a drain. None of them. Okay. I paid 100 bucks for all of them. I'm thinking I overpaid now. No, maybe not. Because even if these sell for, well, if they sell for like 30, 40 bucks a piece, then we're okay. okay. There's five of them here. Right. But if they sell only for $25 a piece, then. So am I doing them separately? He says that this is, when you go to Rigid, it's $125 by itself. Okay, he says on Amazon they usually go for like 70 bucks. I couldn't find this on Amazon. I only found the 3 inch mm. and the 4 inch, the bigger one I couldn't find. So, okay. You gotta do some research, but hopefully. But still, gonna would lose. you rather I did them separately? I think we should. I mean, plumbers buy them as sets because, like, this would be a set, these three. Okay, but then he says they got sets that there would be like 10 things together, mm. you know, so, but I think most money we're going to make separating them. Okay. Because they're not heavy, they're not big, right. so easy to ship, but right. hopefully, uh, hopefully we're going to make something, not lose something. That's funny you call these toys. <laughs> they are toys. They're toys. House in Northern Michigan. Lake Michigan and Chicago Avenue, this is so cool. Right, and I'm a city boy, that's why I kept it, but... These are old postcards, right? Yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah, it's pretty cool, and a cool frame too. And it says old Chicago on the bottom. Is that old Navy Pier? No. Yeah, it looks like that. What does it say? I don't have my Jackson glasses. Street, uh, Michigan Avenue, looking northeast from the old pumping station on Jackson yeah. Street. Let's see how it looks on the back. Looks old. Yeah, that's old. That yeah. is old for sure. Yeah. Well, the question is how much money you want for it? 50 bucks. 50 bucks? About, Come on. How about 25? How about 30 and it'll make it 100 since you gave me 70 on the other two? Done. Huh. I, I mean, go. it's cool, but I no, don't think I know. it's like it's... 100 bucks cool or anything. No, like no, that, no, you know? no. I just... Yeah, but we're going to hang in here. It's going to sit here and people are going to... You know, it's cool, isn't people it? Will enjoy if this. you find anything yeah. out, man, write it down because I'd like Somebody to know. did this later. This is electrical yeah. tape. But it was in a house a yeah. hundred miles south of the Mackinac Bridge up in Michigan in the closet. Yeah, yeah it was my mother-in-law's house and it was there when she died and I emptied it out and I found it in the closet there. Threw it in my basement and yeah. those other things I brought yeah, in, the old lady okay, had okay. this. She's like, you think they might want this? I'm like, I don't know if I want to sell it because it's cool. Yeah, that is cool. I mean, it's I, definitely old. Oh. Yeah, the key is what's behind that? Probably nothing, you think? I doubt it. Hundred dollar bills all taped in there, all in. Okay, well it's ours now. Yeah, so. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> if it was in there, it'd be cool, right? <laughs> Look, he takes it and runs it away, so I can't touch it. Well, all right, guys, yeah. thanks. Thank, Thank you. you. Have a good one. Hey, we gotta hang this here. So who's uh who's the artist that you just bought? I told you not to buy these pictures, and all of a sudden I see all the pictures you bought. Steve Hanks. Steve Hanks, but only one, right? Is the one? No, no, no. Steve Hanks. Oh, they're all Steve Hanks? Yeah, but those other ones just the regular prints. Oh, so like prints that you can buy for 10, 15 bucks or something, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. What about that one? That one is the one that he signed. It's got the... Uh, one out of something, right? 864 out of 999, yeah. That one we should make some money. How much you paid for that one? I'm going to... How much? 60. 60 bucks? Okay. I think Vicky's taking pictures right now. I'm going to go look at it. How much we can sell it for, you think? 1300 1300 Seriously? 
Oh, I think I gotta give you a raise. That's a good buy. That's an excellent buy. Let's see. Let's see. There it is. There it is. So this is this is a good size picture now. What number is it? He said eight fifty three out of ninety nine sign. It has a certificate on the back, right? It does out of nine ninety nine. Cool. Well, he thinks we can get like a thousand bucks or thirteen hundred or something. That's what he said. That's what he said. Okay. I like it. Watch, I'm gonna find five hundred dollar bills behind this. Okay, now we're gonna <laughs> share. Or maybe I should keep it since I bought it. Hey, what do you want this? Because I'm tired of this. It's been here for three years. No, no, no. Somewhere in the back room. That thing has been here for five years. Oh, that's Vicky's. It is Vicky's. Yeah. Moment of truth. Nothing. And somehow the glass is stuck to it. canvas underneath and then some kind of tape you can't really get to these postcards still a cool piece hey I thought that this was a radio playing we got we got a musician back there Nothing. What do you mean nothing? Nothing. Because you already took the money out. Shh. Nobody saw it. Nothing at all? Not a... You ready? Uno momento. Six pounds. Oh, too long. Now you can still read the sign. What are you gonna do with my fish? I don't know, you do something with your fish. Here's your fishy fishy. What's up, buddy? What can I do for you? Uh, I'm looking to see how much these are worth and if you guys are interested in buying it. The box included. Needs a battery. So when was the last time it ran? Do you know? Mm, about six months ago. Yeah, unfortunately, without the battery. Okay. Not that I don't trust you, I don't trust anybody. I get it. I don't know if it runs or not. You know, okay. so me to buy it and then put in the battery and find out it doesn't run. Okay, so if I get a, put a battery. If you get a battery, I can give you a rough idea okay. what I can do on it. You know where I can get a battery for that? Yeah, just down the street, batteries plus. It's okay. going to cost you six bucks okay. to put it in. That's so. fair enough. Okay. I kind of figured you were going to say that, so that's fine. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? What can I do for you? I got this car charger. I don't know if you guys be interested in it. 
Um, runs good, no issues. Yeah, yeah okay. it runs really good. I mean, I got a couple right now, uh, about the same size on wheels. I mean, what are you looking to get out of it? Uh, if I could get like 50 bucks, that would be awesome. Um, uh, I got two of them. One I'm asking 75, the other one 80 bucks. They're both from Die Hard. Um, I mean, I can probably do like 35 bucks. Oof. If you want to do that, because this is a little bit lower grade unit, and I'm gonna ask probably like 60 bucks for it or something, so it's totally up to you, my friend. Could we do 40? 40, it's yours. Yeah, that's fine, I'll do 40. Right. You have an idea on you? Yeah. So it's dark outside. I actually just closed the shop, but uh, right before I closed the shop, I bought a really cool item and uh, I honestly don't know if I did the right thing. The guy did not want to be filmed, but let me show you what I got. So this is a front grill. Oh man, it's heavy. Stainless steel. Front grill for a Shadow Royce Royce uh, that fits between 1960 to 1980 uh, Shadow models and it comes with the flying lady that goes on the top here the comps are unreal on this thing now this particular model i can't find anything uh, sold at the moment because obviously you gotta write you know wait for the right buyer but the comps are like from eight nine hundred dollars all the way to five grand all over the market now this guy, when he walked in, he says somebody didn't pay him to complete the job on a car. So that's why he's selling. He says he paid $2,200 for this grill when he bought it uh, to put it on a car. Um, and the guy, I guess, owed him like $1,200 for some of the work that he done on a car already. So that's what he was asking, $1,200 and uh, i could not pay it obviously i mean it's too risky who knows how long it's going to take to uh sell now this is stainless steel uh, they also made reproduction later uh out of steel and just chrome this is solid stainless steel so um, i offered 500 bucks for it i stuck with that price and uh, and he sold it to me um he said better uh better 500 bucks than nothing so he needed some money um, but I just don't know how long it's gonna take to sell this. It's one of those crazy items that I might be waiting for a couple years before I find a buyer that it's restoring this kind of car. So we'll see what happens. Sometimes you just gotta take a chance. Sometimes you just have to take a chance. All right guys, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. That's it for this episode. Till next time, cheers. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs>